can see Purusha Jr. His hey. name is Michael Purusha and he just made a wonderful hack. So go ahead and tell us something about it. So what do we have here? We have uh, the mandal, as you can see. And uh, I've mounted uh, two watts uh, of 445 nanometers. Uh, it's a diode from eBay extracted uh, from the uh, Casio laser projector. And uh, I'm now cutting the raspberry uh, from the cardboard. Okay, I think we have an example here. So we can uh, show it. But uh, this, this uh, is the piece which is not quite representative because uh, I had uh, misaligned the uh, focus of the laser. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's uh, quite burned. So this, this, this cut will be much more better because okay. I've adjusted the focus well now. Okay, so tell us something about the software you use. Uh, yeah, uh, the firmware in this printer is uh, uh, hacked Marlin. Uh, I've modified it uh, so uh, I'm able to adjust the power of the laser in the real time by using uh, M108. Uh, is the free G code which I I set it up in the in the Marlin and uh, I'm able to turn on and off the laser as well. So when the printer is traveling, uh, it's not cutting. Okay, so what do you generate the G-code with? Uh, I'm using a slicer with the uh, G-code flavor uh, maker wire because uh, Every time uh, when it, uh, it's traveling, it's sending uh, a special, special G code which I assign it to turn on and off the laser. So that's it, I think. So you are using almost standard RepRap uh, toolchain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you generate the stuff from STLs. Yes. Okay. I will, I will uh, share some infos after I will finish it and uh, uh, undercover some bugs which I now have. Okay, thank you. Pretty cool. Good job. No problem. <laughs>